You know, I'd say hustle. You know, work for free. Do anything possible to figure out incrementally what you're passionate about. It's really about a problem that you really want to solve, that you're really excited about. And entrepreneurship is vision, right? You got to see it before anybody else is, right? Your 2020 is, is clearer than anyone else's. It's like driving on an open road in the desert or the mountains or what, or on a sailboat and you're able to see the shore, you're able to see the, the path before anybody else. My name is Hank Ostelhoff, 36 years old. I'm the owner of Mably and the co-founder of Pro Habits. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. I always say I'm a river away from being a hillbilly. Uh, Cincinnati is a very conservative town, but I grew up in a little neighborhood called Clifton. Very liberal, it's next to the university and the hospitals, and yeah, it was a wonderful place to grow up. I remember my parents just gotten divorced and I'd wait by the mailbox for the child support check because I couldn't get a new pair of shoes for the new school year until that child support check came. So I kind of made myself a promise, you know, around 10 years old that I would be successful and I'd always be able to buy myself a pair of new shoes. So now I have a lot of shoes. So I had a couple friends uh, named Mike and Dan, and they had a company called Aura Interactive, and they were just helping build software and technology and all these entrepreneurs in Chicago would come to them and say, hey, I really have this idea, and they would help them bring their idea to life. I was working in engineering and software and all that stuff, and I thought, hey, that's probably a better way or better route, something I could be really passionate about. My name is Adam Friedman. I'm the founder of Mably. I'm originally from Belarus. We came to the United States when I was 11 in 1989. People don't see it until it's mainstream. So Hank is exceptionally gifted at seeing it where I can see the creation and I get this messy vision. Hank is then able to go through that messy vision, extract with clarity what that could be and then visually show it to others. And that is unbelievable own jam sessions to chat about what's going on in our worlds and every time we get together we would begin to brainstorm by the board we always be attracted talking about concepts and visions one of the things we early on really connected over was Simon Sinek start with why and how do you build purpose-driven organizations so we, we were writing the book together called the science of story was about purpose. And as we interviewed leaders, we started talking about the values of their organization, like collaboration, innovation, teamwork. Um, and we started asking leaders, how do you bring that to life? Brand is a reflection of its culture. And people only buy brands that are a reflection of themselves. From your watch, to your car, to what you eat and drink, it says something about you as a human being. From what we're wearing, some Jordans, it says something about you. If you buy Patagonia, it says something about you. So we wanted to go learn from all the people who have gone through that journey before. And so we did a thousand interviews. Uh, Adam did the majority of them. And we learned an incredible amount. And we also learned that there isn't one path, but the common denominator was purpose, connection, feeling, humanity, values. So we wanted to build a company and a culture on those pillars. And I think today, Mably is regarded as an incredible culture, as an organization. And the book was basically just a research project that we put into some words and chapters. And uh, yeah, got a lot of people to contribute and help ghostwrite and do all that stuff. And the conclusion was that we had to build pro habits to build a company that could help other organizations become more conscious as, as a culture and as an organization and as leaders. I would urge them to read more about entrepreneurship to whether it's books, whether it's, I'm personally a big fan of Tim Ferriss, big fan of Gary Vaynerchuk. I think they've really, I think they inspire the transparency into what it means to be an entrepreneur in this, for this generation. So I love, I love blank slate. I love innovation. I love just agility and rapid response to customer. The worst thing is financial uncertainty, especially when you're responsible for others. 
I'd say the relationships, you know? Just the, the moments when we couldn't figure it out somehow, some way, we came together and it happened. So Mavoy's reached a point to where the people right now are operating and building what they want. The, my vision has been reached. Grit, determination, resilience. I think that's the most important part, especially in this day and age. It's like, we get so deterred because someone said something about our Instagram post or you know, our self-esteem is low because you know people say this thing about us. Be ready to accept no. Be ready to accept failure. You know, what, why do we fall down? To get ourselves back up. And I think that's really where skill sets and entrepreneurs are made.